Beginning in June 2012, the GMAT exam will include new interactive question types. These questions will require you to analyze information from multiple sources to solve complex problems. You will need to identify relationships between data points and interpret graphs, charts, and spreadsheets. You will also be required to recognize and evaluate trade offs in given situations. Essentially, the GMAT will measure your integrated reasoning skills. For example, here is a question we are currently piloting that uses integrated reasoning. It includes a table that can be sorted like a spreadsheet. The table includes data on the number of passengers and airplane movements at 21 airports. This question includes a list of statements and asks you to determine which ones are true using the data in the spreadsheet. Unlike traditional multiple choice questions, there may be more than one true statement. You may also be asked to use the same table to answer other questions demanding different skills, such as assessing the reason for or likelihood of certain outcomes. In this case, you would use a table to figure out where an airport would rank. New questions measuring integrated reasoning skills will come to the GMAT exam beginning in June 2012. For more information on the GMAT, please visit mba.com.